Hey everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared's Full Vet and Polly.com. This is Lily. She is a yellow lab. She's almost 10. She has a history of allergies, so you can see sort of the hair loss around her eyes and the really thickened skin. And she has what we call an oral hematoma or an ear hematoma. So she's got a big pocket of blood in between the lateral and the medial pinna. So she has been shaking her head and then busted the blood vessels in her ear. So we are going to put a drain in her ear. So it's an oral hematoma. I, we have shaved and then alcoholed. Um, the inside of her ear, and then I made a little spot where the teat cannula is gonna go, and this is lidocaine, so it's a numbing agent. So I put it in the skin, and then infuse it as I come out, and that's a local numbing agent. So it will take just a little while to work, but will help numb, numb the area um, as I'm putting her sutures in. So that is a little bit of just lo lo local lidocaine. We'll give it a minute. I'm going to take an 11 blade, so a really sharp blade. We're gonna get ready for a little bit of bleeding. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to open up this, drain the blood. Um, the problem with these guys is if you don't drain the blood, the blood will coagulate inside the ear and then it will get a really crinkled appearance. So if you see dogs with these crinkly ears, it means they've had recurrent ear hematomas. So we drain it to let the blood drain out as we're treating her underlying itch. The really important thing with these guys is to treat the underlying cause. You know, if she's so itchy that she's shaking her head, you have to relieve her itch. Some cases that's steroids or Apoquil or Atopica, there's a lot of different options, Benadryl. But if she keeps head shaking, it's just gonna come back. So now, Melissa, can you hold the bowl? So now we're gonna make a puncture wound where I put the lidocaine in to drain that ear, and that's what it looks like. So this is blood inside the, the lateral and the medial pinna, pinna, and that's what's inside these oral hematomas. Um, some people will just drain them and then not put, you know, just poke them and not put a drain in, but they'll just refill. So you really should put a drain in. Um, so I'm going to get out all the blood that's in there, which will relieve her discomfort. And then we use a teat cannula, which actually came, came from, um, from cow medicine. So it's a drain with a little hole in it. So I'm going to put that in the hole that I made. We're rubbing her head pretty hard and hopefully, so that has little spikes on it which keep the teat cannula in place. So you push it into the ear so the spikes are in and then that's where it is. You really wanna make sure you place it so that it's at the most gravity dependent spot. If you've got a dog with erect ears or a cat, this probably won't work. Um, and then the next, the next thing to do is to put some sutures in to hold it. Of course, we're so well organized here that there's some piece of cake. <laughs> so I'm just using suture to hold the cannula in, you can put the bowl down. And I put a suture on both sides of the pinna where the drain is to kind of lock it in place. You're a good girl. She says, you're stuck on my drain, girl. Can you hold the edge of the ear for me? So I put a suture in and then knot it. And then usually I also secure it with a little drop of glue. She will go home with an e-collar on the e-collar and the drain stays on for three weeks and then the drain will come out in three weeks. The owners at home have to make sure they keep the drain patent, so keep the end of that drain from clogging. There's a little hole in the end. You just gotta make sure that that doesn't clog and um, then relieve the itch. The biggest thing is to get to the underlying cause or else all of this is for nothing. Um, so an e-collar, treat the underlying cause, keep the drain open and come back in three weeks. If you have any questions on this or anything else, you can find me at Jerry's Full Vet or Polly.com. Uh -huh. Take care. Good girl, I know. That's